Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. Um, today's topic is what good things are coming your way. Um, so basically, we're just going to talk about like what good shit uh, is in store for you in the near future. Um, this is probably going to be focused on like the next three to six months or so. Um, so relatively short term, uh, but yeah, what good things are coming your way? Um, we've got four piles of cards to choose from. For pile one, we have Opalite. For pile two, we've got ja the Dalmatian Jasper. Uh, for pile three, we have Citrine. And for pile four, we've got Green Aventurine. All right, so I will give you guys a moment to make your choices. And while you're doing that, I just want to remind you that all of my links are in the description box. If you want a private reading with me, the link to my Etsy store is down there. Um, I only do orders for readings through Etsy just because that is the simplest way for me. Um, it makes it easy to keep track of all of my orders that I have to do. Um, and the details on like what you need to know and how it works and what I need from you is all in the individual listings themselves. So um, take a look around. I have a few different reading options available. So check it out. See what would best suit your needs. I'd be happy to read for you. Um, also, the link to my Patreon is down there, plus my PayPal link if you would like to make a donation um, to the channel. And I don't know what else is down there. I've got some other links. Check it out if you're interested. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and get started. So, we are going to start this off with pile number one. I want to apologize again for uh, not having a video out last week, but things have been really kind of wild for me. However, this week things have finally um, settled down a little bit, so um, I've had a bit more time to devote to readings. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we don't have another week like last week for a while. Um, okay, group one. What good things are coming your way? I'm going to start at the bottom. Okay, so the first card we have is Heart to Heart Conversations. We also have Getting to Know Each Other. We also have Communication is Key. So the first three cards that we have here are all really talking about communication, insight, um, you, you know, communicating with other people, opening up to people, um, getting to know others on more intimate or deeper levels. So that's interesting. So um, pile one, it seems to me like uh, some good things or a good thing that's coming your way is um, contact from from somebody important to you or a deepening of a particular relationship um, or getting to know somebody brand new okay um, we also have for your lover lovers Oracle card we've got you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So what this tells me is that um, something else good that's coming your way is... I'm seeing like a resolution to some problem that has been maybe persisting for some time for you. Um, so this could be tied to, um, what these three cards are talking about, um, or it could be related to something else. We also have Yin. So Yin talks about, um, surrender. It talks about receiving gifts from spirit, um, uh, remaining open and receptive to receiving. So there's definitely some, like, blessings that the universe is getting ready to send your way. 
Um, I think you guys just need to be open to receiving them. Uh, make sure that... Okay, I'm being told specifically that some of these good things are not exactly what you are expecting or hoping to receive. However, you need to remain open to them anyway because I'm being told that whatever these things are, it's going to turn out better in the end than whatever it is you are expecting or hoping for. Okay, we also have the celebration card. So that's pretty uh, self-explanatory. We've got celebrations on the horizon. We also have temperance. We have the four of swords and we have the king of pentacles. All right. So. Um, going back to what I was saying with this card, it seems to me like there is going to be a resolution to some sort of ongoing problem that you've been dealing with. Um, and like I said, it could be in relation to a specific person, uh, but whatever the case is, I'm getting, I'm getting that it's there's some situation in your life that's going to be stabilized that's going to kind of balance out with the temperance card being here um it could be a particular relationship with a person that's going to be healed or restored and that could be you know where these cards about communication are coming in um heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other revealing your innermost selves uh deepens your bond and, uh, you know, new moon, new moon in Gemini uh, communication coming in, a, a new beginning based on insight and clarity. Um, and insight is also what the Four of Swords talks about. So I'm seeing like the next few months really an emphasis being placed on honesty, communication, truth. Um, so I kind of feel like you guys, Pile of One, are going to be receiving a lot of messages, um, I think from multiple people. The celebration card, I'm getting specifically that someone you know, uh, someone close to you, or maybe you yourself, possibly, um, but I feel like for most of you, like, someone close to you could, um, have a baby in this time frame or get pregnant in this time frame. Um, that's that's not going to be for all of you but that's something that is coming through pretty strongly um i'm also getting like with this card uh wedding or like a big like it, you know uh important like birthday um for somebody somebody close to you and i think that I think that in addition to this emphasis on communication and this emphasis on insight and clarity, there's also, um, you know, like I said, there's going to be some situation that's perhaps been ongoing that's going to finally stabilize, going to balance out, and you're going to finally experience some security or stability in regards to that. Um, I really feel like, you know, a lot of the stuff that's coming through for you, Pile One, is related to interpersonal relationships. I'm not getting a lot about work or, you know, living situations, home home life, that kind of thing. This is more about relationships. Not romantic relationships specifically, but just, you know, your interpersonal relationships with other people. Um, people close to you, I'm seeing, you know, possibly old friends coming back towards you or, um yeah, like old friendships being rekindled, um, friendships or family relationships that maybe have been strained, uh, in the recent past kind of being resolved, people coming back together. I'm seeing you going to a lot of, like, social gatherings. Um, I, f I'm seeing you being involved a lot with family members or close friends during this period of time. Um, and I just see you guys having a lot of fun. 
as a result. Um, I'm, I'm getting that there's going to be, uh, I'm getting a really strong feeling of like belonging, okay? So if you have been feeling kind of alone or like you don't fit in recently, I do see that changing. I see you, you know, really coming together with people that you just feel like you fit in with really well and you feel loved and accepted and wanted around, um, which is a really beautiful thing. Like it's, it's, it, it's, it's giving me really happy feelings inside. Um, so this is kind of exciting, I think. Um, with this card, through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Um, I do think that there's also a possibility for um, certain relationships to be put on hold or to be um, kind of like left behind. Uh, but I think in exchange, there's going to be new people coming towards you or other relationships being rekindled. Um, does that make sense? I'm seeing you guys gaining some clarity about people that are around you right now. Again, getting to know people on a deeper level, having more meaningful interactions with the people that, that you know, are around you regularly. Um, and as a result, I think you're going to become closer with some and more distant from others. I think you're going to, it's, I, I'm seeing you having opportunities to really like find out who your friends are, so to speak. Um, so, you know, walking away from certain relationships or leaving certain people behind isn't necessarily a good thing. However, I feel like these are going to be relationships that aren't really serving you anyway. And so in the end, it's going to be positive for you because I feel like it's going to help you to, you know, feel better to, to like raise your vibrations and lighten your energy and make room for more positive um, connections um, in their place. Okay, so uh, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of emphasis being put here on your relationships. I feel like you're going to be spending a lot of time with friends and loved ones in the near future. Um, like I said, somebody could be having a baby, somebody could be getting married. Um, just like, I'm seeing just a lot of like social gatherings in general. Um, and, and you guys just having a good time. Um, I'm also getting... In relation to the yin card, like I was saying, it's, you know, some of the gifts that are going to be coming your way are not going to be exactly what you're hoping for or expecting to receive. And I think that's probably where the, um, like the the leaving behind of certain relationships is going to come in because you might be trying to manifest a like reconciliation with a certain individual or trying to manifest you know something like that however i think for some of you uh that reconciliation is just not it's it's not really going to happen but it's because that particular person or that particular connection is just not serving you your highest good, um, at least not at this time. Um, it is totally possible that in the more distant future that, you know, that can be, that person or that reconciliation can be manifested, but um, what I'm being told for some of you for whom that is applicable, uh, that's not something that is... Um, going to be happening in the near future um, because it's just not something that's that's going to be good for you right now. Does that make sense? Um, I feel like I need to pull out one or two of these cards because I feel like there's more that they want you guys to know. So what other good things are coming 
forward for pile one. We've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot, and let me get one more. One more for pile one, please. And there's Strength. Okay. So, um, the Chariot and the Strength card are kind of similar. Both of these cards talk about, like, overcoming obstacles, facing adversity. Um, I think that you guys... These are also two very active cards, so I'm seeing you guys really just um, making a lot of forward progress um, in the next few months, really kind of like, I'm getting, um, I'm, I'm hearing the, the, uh, I'm hearing the word like purge. So I'm I'm feeling like you guys are going to be kind of like purging uh connections and energies that are not doing you much good right now to make room for more positive connections and more positive energies to come in. Does that make sense? Um with the ace of pentacles, I am seeing a new beginning uh in terms of like stability, again, kind of building upon the King of Pentacles. Um, I feel like your interpersonal connections are really going to be stabilizing. I'm getting that for some of you, again, I have this feeling like some of you have been feeling kind of isolated lately and maybe feeling, maybe focusing too much on people who are not investing in you like you deserve, you know, people who are not taking you as seriously as they should be, and I'm getting that some of you have just been chasing people who don't deserve it, you know what I mean? Um, and so I'm really seeing you guys just, like, leaving that stuff behind and coming into contact with people who uh, you know, want to have, uh, stability with you, who want to have, you know, um, consistent relationships with you, equal relationships, uh, re relationships based on reciprocation, right, where everybody involved is investing the same amount of time and energy, um, and you may be thinking, like, but I don't, you know, I don't want to give up on this particular person that I've been, trying to manifest or chasing after, again, it's it's not that that will never happen, it's just that it's not going to happen right now, okay? It's not going to happen in the time frame that we're talking about, which is like three to six months, okay? Um, but I think that for most of you, you will be finding the strength and the courage to kind of... Um, detach yourselves from those desires, uh, you know, those um, connections that you're trying to manifest or repair, and by doing that, you will be feeling a lot better, you know, energetically, emotionally. Um, so I think ultimately that is going to be a good thing for you guys. Um, so yeah, that's really all the messages that I have for you, Pile One. I hope that made sense. Um, basically, big emphasis on spending time with people, um, hanging out with people, like lots of celebrations going on, partying, maybe, um, and uh, deepening your relationships and maybe rekindling some old ones. Uh, so, yeah, I, I hope that resonated with you guys and I hope you enjoyed. If it didn't resonate, I'm sorry, but like these are general readings and they're not going to be applicable to everyone who sees them. Uh, also, I would appreciate it if people in the comments did not um, try to inform me that my reading is incorrect or wrong. Um, because I'm just going to block you, and that is just some really nonsensical behavior. Um, so, yeah, Pile 1, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope I see you next time. We are going to talk about Pile 2 now. So, Pile 2, what good things are coming your way? 
let's start at the bottom. We've got love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So this is about developing self-love, okay? We also have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This does not have to be interpreted literally. I usually don't interpret it literally interpret it literally in fact um in general to me this card is more just about healing um we also have take time to breathe out so this card really speaks of sort of uh stepping back taking time to yourself withdrawing from others a little bit so that you can focus on you your needs you know um and all three of these cards are really tying together pretty nicely for me um, so what good things are coming your way, group two? I think that over the next few months, you're going to be having opportunities to spend more time with yourself and to really develop a, uh, you know, a stronger sense of self-love and a, a more maybe consistent like self-care routine. I am seeing you guys taking some time out to work through or process some uh, old wounds or, you know, emotional um, issues, emotional baggage that you may have been carrying around for some time. Uh, we also have the change card. So changes are coming for you guys, pile two. We have no place like home. We have a message for you. It says, I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Um, and we also have the Ten of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is very similar to the energy that I'm getting with these three cards. Uh, especially love yourself first, because the Nine of Pentacles to me speaks of someone who is very independent, very confident, someone who does have a strong sense of self-love, who does take care of themselves very well, um, someone who, you know, really has it together. Um, so I feel like if that is an area where you have been lacking Pile 2, then that is um, an area that you're going to have opportunities to really work on. Um, in the next few months. So that's a really good thing. Um, that's something to look forward to. We also have the Ten of Swords. Uh, Ten of Swords is not a great card. Usually this talks about betrayal or heartbreak or some kind of difficult ending. Um, so you might be thinking like, well, how is that a good thing that's coming my way? This is talking about something painful or some, some difficult situation or some emotional baggage or like... I want to say like spiritual, um, just some kind of like bad energy that's been lingering around you, I feel like is going to be cut away, okay? Um, and as a result, there's going to be kind of a fresh start for you in terms of your um, mental clarity, in terms of your emotional um how do I want to say this? It's like, I'm kind of seeing you guys like being renewed, being restored. Um, like I wouldn't be surprised at all if the star card wanted to pop out here. We don't have it, but like, you know, the star card talks about healing and it talks about restoration and that's what these cards are talking to me about as well. Um, I get the impression, Pile 2, that many of you maybe have been dealing with self-doubt, dealing with, um, you know, something painful that has happened recently, or uh, negative feelings or emotions have been resurfacing from, like, old, you know, old um, situations, old traumas, old wounds, etc., that, you know... <sighs> like I said, have kind of been coming back to the surface and you've kind of been having to address them for the first time in a while. Um, I think that, you know, the good things that are going to be coming your way are healing from those old wounds, processing 
you know, that baggage, that trauma, that negative energy, working through it, cutting it away from you, and, you know, coming out on the other side a happier, lighter, um, better person. Maybe not better. Maybe that's not a good word to use. But just different, okay? I see you kind of undergoing, like, a transformation with the change card here. I, I'm seeing you guys, like as caterpillars who are about to build your cocoons and in a few months time emerge as beautiful butterflies um so that's awesome you guys this is <laughs> this is good stuff um i want to get some clarifiers for the no place like home card and the message for you so let's see what those are all about Why is No Place Like Home here? It's too many cards. Alright, we have the Eight of Cups coming out. Let me get one more. And the Five of Swords. I feel like a lot of this... Um, maybe trauma or baggage that you guys have been dealing with or will be dealing with is related to your childhood, home life, um, you know, close relationships like that. Um, I think that's what this card is signifying. And I feel like for a lot of you, these are things that have been left unaddressed for some time and have really been kind of just slowly wearing away at you, you know, over time. But um, with the Eight of Cups being here, I'm seeing you guys, like, finally moving past it, moving on from it, working through it, you know. And some of you are not going to be doing this alone. Some of you are going to be having help from, you know, professionals, um, spiritual counselors, regular counselors, um, whatever you feel it would be most beneficial to you. And, um, I want to get a clarifier for message for you, even though I'm pretty sure I know what it's talking about. Whoa, okay, sorry. <sighs> Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Okay. So, um, this card, I think, is really a message from your spirit guides. Uh, this is talking about, like, you know, you are a lovable person. You deserve good things. You deserve to be happy. You... You don't deserve to be bogged down by your past any more than you already have been. Um, and so what they're saying is that despite whatever you have been through in the past, there are people who love you, and you may not even be aware of them, you know, like this message specifically is coming from your spirit guides. You may not be in direct contact with your spirit guides, but they want you to know that you're loved, and um, they want you to know that there are people out there for you. Okay, these two cards are talking about home, they're talking about family. Um, for some of you, I feel like these, this negative energy is stemming a lot from your, your family, you know, your, your past with your family members, um, childhood, etc. And what they want you to know is that You are not defined by those experiences, first of all, and there are, you know, you can choose who your family is, okay? Um, and so what these two cards, No Place Like Home and the Ten of Pentacles, are talking about is that I think a lot of you guys are going to be encountering um, some of your soul family uh, in the near future, and that's one of the good things that's coming your way. Um, soul family, people that you share strong bonds with. These are not necessarily going to be 
love interests, romantic options, um, because not all soulmates are like that. Um, but these are going to be people that you're going to connect with on a really profound level and who are going to, I think, help you a lot to uh, move forward, to live your best life, um, to be the best version of yourself that you can be. The Seven of Wands is saying that, you know, some of you, I feel like, maybe have been struggling a lot recently, but, and, and maybe you've been feeling like, you know, you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, but it is there. Uh, you know, the trees on this card, from our perspective as the viewer, they look enormous, right? And they look kind of intimidating. However, you know, there's all this space in between them. So it's, it's really not like, it's, it's not as, um, hopeless as it may seem. You know what I'm saying? We have these big intimidating obstacles here, but there's a lot of space in between them that we can climb through, right? And, and get out of this forest. And, and I kind of feel like that's, the message for you like things might be looking bleak right now things might be looking uh, things might be hard uh but you can overcome right you are capable you are powerful you just have to tap into that okay tap into that potential and understand that you can do whatever you set your mind to all right does that make sense um, these, these issues, this pain is not going to weigh you down forever. You will overcome. That is a fact, okay? This isn't something that is going to be holding you back forever, okay? Um, it definitely doesn't have to be, and I think it will not be, right? So, um, the good things that are coming your way, I'm, I'm seeing you moving on from, from, from pain and heartache, I'm seeing you working through some things that you have been struggling with for some time. I'm seeing you meeting some of your soul family. I'm seeing you taking the time to um, learn to love yourself or, or deepen that sense of self-love and, and take care of yourself and just uh, have some time out to focus on you, okay? Um, so, also, if things have been really busy in your life recently, I do see them calming down a bit so that you will have time to um, do this work, okay? Uh, so, Puddle 2, that's the reading that I have for you today. Um, I hope that this resonated with you. If not, that's okay because these are just general readings. They will not resonate with everyone who um, watches them and... Uh, you know, not every part of the reading will resonate either. You kind of have to just take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. Um, but I hope you enjoyed, and I hope I see you next time, pile two. We are going to move on now to pile number three, which was citrine. So pile three, what is coming your way? What good things are coming your way? So the first card we have is Make the Effort. We also have the Retreat card. It's time to disconnect from the world. We also have a Win-Win Outcome is Forecast, Full Moon in Libra. We've got the Healing card. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. These cards I'm not interpreting literally, so these don't have to necessarily be about a relationship or a romantic situation. Um, we have Message in a Bottle in the reverse. We have the Nature card. And we've got the Knight of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Cups. So, I know I just said that it doesn't have to be specifically about a relationship. However, I feel like for a lot of you guys who picked this pile, this is talking about a relationship. Um, I feel like most of you who chose this are probably in a relationship with someone or you are in some sort of situationship that um, maybe has been struggling a little bit. Um, 
However, what I'm getting from these cards is that I think things are really going to be turning around for you and your partner or the person that you're dealing with. Um, I'm getting this feeling like, yeah, I'm getting, <laughs> for most of you guys, I feel like this is about your love life. Um, so either you're in a relationship that has not been super positive lately, uh, you've been struggling with your partner perhaps, or you are like feeling hopelessly single and you're wanting to change that. So, um, for those of you who are already in a relationship or a situationship with someone that's not been going super well lately, um, I'm getting that things are going to turn around a lot for you. I'm getting that you and your partner maybe have been in, you know, a downswing. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune talks about movement. It talks about fortune turning in your favor. So, you know, you're going to be transitioning from this, like, negative cycle that you're currently in into a more positive uh, direction. The wheel's turning um, in a positive direction, in a direction that's going to start to bring you a little bit of good fortune and good luck. Um, a change, right? A transformation. Um, we also have the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups talks about unity, it talks about getting along, harmony, um, having a good time with people that you love and care about. So I am seeing this as like you and your loved one or loved ones. Uh, being able to spend time together and, and have it be meaningful and positive experiences that will serve to deepen your relationships. Um, also, we've got make the effort. So this is a sign that whoever you're dealing with, uh, this is saying that that person is going to start making a greater effort to improve this relationship or to work towards this relationship um, if it hasn't really been established yet. Um, we've got healing. So um, if there have been conflicts between you and this person, which I feel like for a lot of you there have been, uh, I'm seeing this as an opportunity to heal from those things together, an opportunity for those things to be forgiven, to be you know, left in the past. Um, retreat is really talking to me about you and the person you're dealing with being able to kind of step away from things together to, you know, take a step back from the world, from the rest of the world, to focus on your connection, what you both want, how you both are feeling, what you both need from each other, and focusing on, like, you know, the best way to move forward, okay? A win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. Um, Libra, the Libra uh, cards are very much associated with um, romantic situations, uh, love relationships, etc., and the full moons are associated with conclusions or endings, so, um, you know, this card is signifying an outcome, a positive outcome. So again, I'm seeing this as like an ending of an old cycle, right? So that a new one can start. And this ending is going to be favorable, okay? This is not going to be like an ending of the relationship. This is not going to be the two of you like walking away from each other. This is going to be an ending to hardships, an ending to pain, um, something like that, okay? Um, with the nature card being here, this card really talks to me about, like, being grounded, grounding your energy, um, getting in touch with, like, what you really need, you know, uh, which is kind of going back to the retreat card. It's like, I feel like you and the person you're involved with are gonna be kind of, like, for some of you, this is kind of literal, like, some of you maybe are gonna end up going, like, on a camping trip or going, 
just spending time together, like, out in nature, um, trying to, like, like, kind of trying to get to your roots, you know, does that make sense? Um, and also what I'm getting from this card is, like, honing in on the essence of the relationship. Um, what is it that draws the two of you towards each other? What is it that, what is your number one goal for the relationship? Does that make sense? Um, really gaining clarity about those things, like the things that really matter, the things that are at the heart of the connection, and moving forward with those things in mind. Um, message in a bottle reversed. Uh, this card is telling me that, uh, you know, spirit, the universe, your spirit guides are wanting to help you to fix this um, or to improve this in whatever ways it can. Uh, this card really um, talks about, like, receiving messages from spirit, receiving messages, uh, you know, red flags sometimes. Uh, I feel like what you want to do is pay attention to your intuition, pay attention to signs that you may encounter um, because spirit is trying to help you to identify where this connection is lacking, identify where the problems really lie, identify what's at the root of whatever issues this connection is facing. Um, and so that, you know, you can heal them, repair them, move on from them. You know what I mean? Um, also, the Knight of Wands. This is talking about forward movement as well, so I'm really seeing this as like a rekindling of passion, a rekindling of uh, enthusiasm for this connection. Also, for those of you who are like single, this is somebody coming towards you wanting to make you an offer. Um, so... That's really all the messages that I have for you guys, Pile 3. Um, that was pretty straightforward. I don't think I need to pull any clarifiers for this one. Um, if you're not in a relationship or you don't have any, like, romantic interests that you've been involved with, then obviously this is not going to be the reading for you. Um, and you may want to choose a different pile. Um, but, you know, use your own discernment. That's really important to figure out, like you know, what parts of the readings are meant for you and what parts are not, because even, sometimes even if a reading on the surface doesn't seem applicable to your situation, there are still messages within that reading for you. You know what I mean? Um, I've experienced that myself, watching some readings on, here on YouTube. Um, you just kind of have to, like, be paying attention, you know, and um, be intuitively aware right, of uh, what's what's being said. Does that make sense? Anyway, um, I hope that this was helpful to you guys, Pile 3, and I hope this uh, resonated with you. If not, I'm sorry. These are just general readings. Take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. Uh, thank you for watching, though, and uh, I hope I see you next time. We are going to move on now to the final pile. Pile 4, the green adventuring. Let's see what good things are coming your way. So the first card that we have here is finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your life right now. So right away, I feel like some good things pertaining to work or money are on the way to you. We have the separation card. Um, that's interesting. We're going to talk about that in a second. We've got Don't Let Your Past Hold You Back. We have the New Beginnings card. A new adventure, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. We have Flexible in the reverse. We have Abundance, so more um, energy pertaining to, you know, prosperity coming in. So I feel like the this reading is really uh, focusing 
on career, uh, finances, wealth, more than anything else. Uh, we have the Fool card, um, going along with the New Beginning card. We have the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands. So, Pile 4. Uh, lots of good things coming your way. Most of them, like I said, I think are in relation to your work situation, money, uh, finances. So it's possible, first of all, that you guys are going to be offered a promotion or be receiving a promotion. You may be getting a new job. You might um, come into... You might be receiving a sum of money in some other way, like, I don't know, maybe you'll, like, win the lottery or, <laughs> you know, receive a gift, a, a pretty significant gift from somebody. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of prosperity coming your way, a lot of abundance, like I said. Um, and the Six of Wands, this is really tying in with that energy. This card is about victory, success, also recognition. I'm feeling like you guys, uh, maybe your skills or abilities at work um, are going to be recognized. And as a result, you will be, um, you know, given some, um, some kind of promotion or some kind of uh, extra, uh, like a bonus or something like that. Um, or as a result of that recognition, you may be given some new financial opportunities, like, like a new job or, um, an opportunity to start up your own business, or if you already have your own business, um, like, <laughs> experiencing, like, an influx of new clients or something of that nature, okay? Um... We also have some cards here that are talking about new beginnings. Okay, so I do think that I'm going to need to pull some clarifiers for this. Just because I feel like, you know, the main energy here, or I guess I should say the most obvious energy here is related to money. But there's also um, something else going on here that I want to get a little bit clearer on before I start talking about it. We've got the star card. We've got the six of cups. We have the queen of swords. So the six of swords right away usually talks about reconciliation or some type of coming together, uh, moving forward. Um, we've got New Beginning, we've got the full New Beginnings, um, the Star card speaks of, like, restoration, healing, um, also it speaks of wish fulfillment, so this can, um, also refer back to the, the money or career thing, uh, if you have been trying to manifest more money or manifest a new work or job opportunity, I feel like this is a good sign that that is going to be fulfilled. Um, but this is also talking about this other, uh, situation here. With the Six of Cups, this card is, um, really associated with the past, with, uh, childhood, nostalgia, memories, it can also indicate something returning from your past. Uh, this is also one of the soulmate cards, so in that respect it can be in reference to like uh, something or someone that you have known in a past lifetime. I feel like this is... Um, this other message that we're getting here is talking about a particular person that you're involved with. Could be a romantic partner, doesn't have to be though. I'm kind of seeing like you and this person having some sort of new beginning together. Um, the separation card and the queen of swords are going together for me. Um, the separation card, you might be thinking separation, how is that a good thing? Um, however, I think what these two cards are talking about, the Queen of Swords talks about, like, distance. The Queen of Swords has a very uh, distant, cold, like, unemotional 
detached energy to it. And separation talks about, you know, separating from something or someone. Uh, I don't think this is referring to a separation from this person that you're dealing with. I think it's more of a separation from some, some negative energy or something that has been holding this connection back. Okay. Um, I'm also getting right now that for some of you, all of this is about work or money or finances. Um, in which case you're going to be experiencing a separation from doubt, a separation from something that has been holding you back financially. Um, and moving forward in a new direction, perhaps, uh, you know, releasing doubt, releasing, um, <sighs> where was I going with that? Um, releasing doubt, releasing negativity, uh, releasing feelings of not being enough, not being good enough. Um, And, and having a new beginning in relation to that, in relation to uh, work, okay, or, or finances. Um, so for some of you, I do think you're going to be starting up some, like, new project or a new business or something like that that's going to be bringing you a lot of material abundance and prosperity, okay? Um, for others of you, though, I do think that there's also something pertaining to a relationship going on here. So if you're not, like, involved with anybody, um, seriously, uh, or you don't have any, like, romantic interests right now, then, um, the, the new beginning message and, you know, all that stuff is talking about work as well. Okay, if you are in a relationship or you are involved with a, a romantic interest, then I do think that there's something going on with that here as well. Um, if that is the case, I am seeing you and this person uh, overcoming some obstacle that perhaps you guys have been facing. It could be distance, like physical distance. It could be some kind of uh, third party, not necessarily another person. A third party can be anything that is interfering in a relationship between two people. So it can be a job. It can be physical distance. It can be um, like an addiction or an emotional blockage. It can be pretty much anything. It can be family as well. Um, so I am seeing you and your person overcoming some kind of obstacle that's been holding you back. Um, I am seeing you and your person's relationship being deepened, um, moving forward together past whatever negativity or obstacles you have been facing, overcoming that, moving forward in a new direction. Um, this new direction may be something that you are not currently considering or wanting the relationship to go in. However, what this card is saying is that you need to be flexible. Um, this card reversed talks about like being, you know, rigid, kind of closed off to po the possibilities. Um, what you want to do, though, is be open, be adaptable. Um, this may not go exactly the way that you are wanting it or hoping it will. Um, however, you need to be open to the possibilities because I feel like however this goes, it's going to end up being a more positive outcome than you are anticipating. And... If there's any hard feelings that are existing between you and this person, like, you need to just kind of let those things go. Like, if this is someone that you really want to um, improve your relationship with or move forward with, then you can't hold on to the past, right? Um, now, oh my gosh, I was going to say something else and I totally forgot what it was. Also, if this is just 
if you're not involved with anybody romantically and this is just about your work situation, then this card it has a pretty pretty much the same meaning. It's like, you know, you may have an idea already of where you want your career to go or, you know, something like that, um, what you want your career path to be. However, I feel like in order to achieve this abundance that spirit wants to give to you, you're going to have to remain adaptable as well. Um, you know, you may end up going in a totally different direction than you're anticipating, and you kind of just have to embrace whatever, whatever changes come your way, okay? Because that is going to be the path to prosperity. That's going to be the path to getting you know, being successful and, and, and getting what you want, you know, manifesting your desires. Um, <clears throat> so this pile was a little bit like 50-50. For some of you, it's just about work. For others of you, it's about work and a relationship you're involved in. Um, so like I said, take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. Um, I hope that this resonated with you, Pile 4. That's really all the messages that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if this reading did not resonate with you, I'm sorry, but these are just general, so they're not going to be applicable to everyone who sees them. Um, yeah, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, is there anything else? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm always like, how do I end these things? Um, yeah. Uh, thanks again for joining me. I hope I see you next time, guys. Uh, bye.